Yes, Digital Product Family. Hope you guys are well. Guys, I'm going to give you the one of the simplest, easiest, one of the best digital products you could do right now on Etsy and get that amazing passive income, especially if you actually use it. It's just common sense, guys. It's ridiculous. It's like, why not do it if you're doing it already? It's like, it's not even work. Guys, before I say it, before I go through it, if you love digital products, you love creating, selling, researching, and all of that amazing, amazing stuff with digital products, then please hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and don't forget to share, because sharing, guys, is caring. Guys, hope you guys are well. Now, listen, check this out. This is right. All of you guys that work and use Mid Journey and watch my videos on Mid Journey AI and how we use it, doing the prompts, and anyone who's worked on it and knows about it, even a little bit, this is for you because AI is the future, whether we like it or not. It's what we need to use. It's what we do use. So if you haven't used Midjourney, do check out my link about Midjourney. It's completely free to try out, but they do have a subscription which you can which you can use for commercial rights. Um, but you know, Midjourney is amazing. Midjourney is amazing. If you haven't used it, I create loads of my designs using Midjourney AI, and it's really cool. I'm just saying this for those that don't actually know. Um, so do check out my playlist with with how I create all the amazing digital um, products with uh, Mid Journey. Anyway, without further ado, how we make money with Mid Journey aside from the designs that we sell for digital products is prompts. Guys, we do prompts all the time to actually create the designs, right? So it makes absolute sense to sell it. Now check this out. When I type in Mid Journey prompts, it gives me a search of. 8,407, which is absolutely fantastic to try and get into. And I don't understand why there's no more than that. But psh, do you know what? I thought as I'm doing this myself, I need to share it with my people so that you guys can also get that fantastic passive income. So literally, guys, this is what I want to show you. I'm just going to show you like um the first page of some of these. So like what they have is they have obviously... Many different sellers have prompts for maybe sometimes specific um, patterns, could be t-shirt designs, which would have a look at this first line. Like there are, these are prompts for different things. T-shirt designs, which is quite nice. I like that little animation. You've got patterns. I like that animation. Seems like the same seller. Yeah, it is the same seller. <laughs> uh, they've got the same style. Check it out. Look, t-shirt designs. So they're selling bundles, right? Like this one's a 400 prompt bundle, which they're selling for £2.55. This is another bundle. This is a uh, different seller. I can look, I can see. And this is actually the same seller, funny enough, the other one, but it's a different bundle. Okay, I'm going to go and look at this uh, seller actually, because it looks like they do mid journey prompts, as that's what they sell. Maybe they do more than that. I could be wrong. Um, but let's have a look at this, these guys. So, you know, for this one, you know, I just want to show you this actual thing they're selling. Look, 20 plus baskets. So prompts are popular, right? Mid journey props, and it's only going to grow, right? Mid journey is a growing niche in itself. So it's something to get into. It's definitely unsaturated. It's a really cool one to do, especially if you're using it. It's a no brainer because you can actually just very quickly copy and paste your prompts, but we'll get into that in a bit. So let's have a look at this. I really like this because it shows you what the designs look like. And I definitely would suggest showing what your designs would actually look like because they want to see it. Instant access. What's nice is answering the questions. I keep saying it with listings. Right. Check this out. And I'll say it all the time because I think it, as long as we know it, we need to do it. Listings are about having images. Images are the window to your shop store. Simple as that. So you need to make sure that you add as many images as possible to with with what's available, what, what Etsy gives you in terms of how many images you're allowed to put. Use them all, right? You've got a little video, use a video. Boom. you got to make it like stand out. It's a bestseller. So they're answering questions. They're showing you the images. They're telling you it's an instant access and how you get your actual uh, downloadable. It also tells you about getting something for free, which is good. So you get also something extra. 
and it tells you about the best sellers so that you can also go to their store. Very smart. More information, how to use it, what you'll get, how your order will come. Very nice. It also tells you that please note that use the prompts. A subscription to Midjourney is required if you want to sell commercially. Yes, 400 plus design prompts, carefully crafted prompts that cover all possible styles. So it's giving you an idea about what you're getting. Again, more possible images that you that you may produce. Stay up to date. Um, more, more, 400 plus unique design prompts. More information, time saving, quality, versatile. Again, it's kind of selling this product, which is pretty good. So I like that. Really good listing, very clear listing. And again, in the description, they're explaining it's a digital file, two PDFs, and uh, and so forth, right? It's simple as that. There's nothing more to it. Look, and the thing is, people like this, which is also good to see. I like to look at reviews. Really good. I wanted to share my positive experience after recently purchasing this prompts on Etsy. The buying process was smooth. I was impressed by the quality. Look, a whole paragraph, right? The prompts list exceeded my expectations. So when you do your prompts, obviously you want to try and make sure that yours are good as well. And like, here's some photos even. That's pretty cool. So what what I do then would, I would check out this uh, store. And it seems like this store um, is is uh, mid-journey related possibly. So yeah, let's have a look. Powerful style, California, mid-journey prompts. Okay, Lightroom presets and mid-journey prompts. Okay, they do a few things. Really like their story, like what they're doing. Um, they've got loads of different, actually, um, cool things. So, you know, you know, you get ideas from some of the best sellers, and this is a really good, it's a, it's a good one. Let's just have a look and see, you know, in this store how much they're making because they've got different bundles. I like these bundles, and actually, they are bundles that are searched for. So, people search for nursery illustrations, people search for travel posters in general, anyway, as a design. People search for cute kawaii stickers. You know, this person has basically put. Um, bundles of mid journey prompts in 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 you know together and they're really nice they're very clear very like i said we looked at that one listing and it's very clear they all seem to have sales on which is good um yeah so let's just have a quick nosy a quick nosy and see what, what they're doing how much they're making remember these are you know these are just prompts they're selling words really essentially right um yeah so some of these good sellers some of these are getting say 600 thirds well, this is the all-in-one. Okay, so I can imagine the big, big bundles selling. 120 plus, 570. Uh, posters, 300. Boho clip arts, 322, 215. This is per month. And you remember, it's quite new, by the way. The listings are quite new. Look, three, two, one month. So it's only going to grow. And look, they're all making some money. They're all making some money, guys. 50 plus. So look, if you got to really add these all up, and look, in excess of, what's this going to be? 6, 1,000, 1,003, 2K, 2, 1, 3K, 3K, maybe 4K, you know, 4K, maybe even 5K a month. So we're looking at about, yeah, it's quite a lot. So we're looking at between four and 5,000. Still loads, even these are making money. Okay, so we're looking around four to 5,000 dollars a month for prompts, right? That's not too shabby, guys. That's really, really cool, right? Really, really cool. And it's not hard to do. And how I would start is I would do I would do something similar in terms of I would do um, a, a bunch of uh, a bundle of prompts. So look at um, what you have to do is look at niches that are popular. So for example, people are always searching for t-shirt designs, for example, poster designs are, are popular. Look at these. These are seasonal Halloween t-shirt designs here on the right. Um, I know that people love these little stickers. These are cute stickers that also are popular. These model mock-ups. Remember, check out my videos, guys. I've done all of these. Check out my model mock-ups when we did that. Now, look at this model mock-up. I mean, literally, these are 50 different model mock-ups, right? People love these two, these t-shirt ones. Look at it. It's popular. 20 in a basket, guys. Look, it's selling. And these are not hard to do. Like you might think, oh, this is hard. It's not hard. I mean, do you remember my mock-up when I did? I've done all of these, but let's just go to mid-journey very quickly. My go-to, right? So look at this. I mean, all you need to do, I'm just going to give you a very, 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 very quick rundown. Look, all of these. I mean, I could, it's about copy and pasting all of the prompts that you use. 
Now, I'm just going to scroll up because I know recently I did um, uh, mock-ups for like, you know, like proper mock-ups of T-shirt mock-ups with, with people. Um, I know I did that very re quite recently. Guys, I got so many prompts. It's ridiculous. Oh, I just copy and paste all of them, put it in a mega bundle and get that passive income. Um, but let me just go up. There you go. Sorry, guys. Took a bit of long. See these T-shirt mock-ups that I did, right? Look at these. And they're all slightly like, there you go. I'll start from there. All slightly different, right? Check this out. So they're all slightly different. But essentially, look, what I did was I typed in mock-up photo shoot, smiling 30-year-old white male wearing a black T-shirt facing the camera with photo shoot lighting with a white background, right? That's it. And then I, when I changed it up, I did it slightly different. I did a, I wanted a bit of a background, right, on this one. So this one was mock-up photo shoot, smiling 25-year-old white female wearing a black T-shirt facing the camera with a photo shoot lighting in a garden background. So what, what I can do is, look, if I was to do this, I would, I would bundle. So here, for example, I would simply, obviously, I would want to put it up in a, put it on a PDF. I'll put it on a Word document possibly first. So I might copy um and then obviously i would i might say just mid journey uh t-shirt uh t-shirt mock-up uh prompts right i'm very i'm doing a cappella right now which is basically off the cuff right so obviously i'd center it um i want to make sure that um i make sure that size is right i do all of the right stuff guys come on right and i make sure that i get this uh however aerial if i want it and then just uh center it if i want yeah but um obviously uh uh review that i make sure that it's all checked it is all fine it's just likes to ignore all of them right so it's all done right and then literally what i need to do is i'll just go down and i'll just uh, start so i got my first one which is uh first prompt i could say look first prompt uh first prompt uh okay if i want uh, however i do it guys there's so many ways of doing this and what i would suggest is by the way i would just check and see how a good seller does it how they lay it out so you know just to get an idea of how things are laid out let me just go back very quickly just to get thing an idea how things are laid out i may in fact um look at one of these prompts you know i may even just you know look at one of these good ones and i might and i might buy one just to see how the layout is on on a pdf just to see like how they lay it out just to get an idea obviously i'll do it my own unique way because remember you got to do it original um but i might just just have a look and see how they put it together just to get an idea but you know essentially it's going to be something like this where you'd kind of put your first prompt uh, you put uh, them in packs bundles so i might just paste my um prompt um this will be my first prompt it usually comes out grey. I'm not sure why, um, but let me just make it black so it's nice and clear, right? Might be my first prompt here, right? And then, personally, what I would do is, because I want people to see what the prompt would look like, it might not be exact, but it will be something like that, right? They will just get an idea of what the prompt would be. So I would personally, um, I might, I won't do all four of them. I might just upscale, let's say, I don't know, one of them, yeah? Because that this is an idea of what the prompt would look like. So obviously, I would uh, upscale it and I'll just go make sure that I've got it uh, here. So this would be what the prompt may look like. Remember, it might not be exact, but it would give them an idea. You want to give the customer an idea what it could look like. And also, what's really nice, I could use it as part of my mock-up for the images that I use. So what I do is I would save image as, and then I would put it onto into my uh, documents save it i don't know why that blue thing's there right, i've saved it there so all i need to do is go back to my word document guys and uh where is it uh let me just uh ch -ch 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 -ch. okay let me just go back there go to my downloads and then uh just uh right copy that go to word paste it Okay, too big. Let me just do this wrap text, make it smaller, front of text, and then make it small, guys. Don't want it that big. I just want to show them what it would look like. Okay, so I would basically build up my mid journey mock ups. I would give them the prompts, 
possibly and give them what it would look like um show them the first prompt and then go through all the different prompts on word document possibly and bundle it so these will be my mid journey t-shirt prompts the next one i would obviously do is you know i want to do a slightly different one which i've already got anyway because i've got these i mean what's nice about your discord and mid journey you just go back up to the your last uh, one that you did because obviously i've done loads of these and i would literally copy and paste these and i would use the next one which will be maybe the mock up of a female white female and then and and i'll just look at and see what all the mock ups possible mock ups for kids um for for all sorts right and i'll just do that do the same process save it save as um and then do the and then save it in my documents and and go through that okay save as save as sorry and then put it in there yeah and then i'll do that for like i would look and see what i need to do more of so once i saved it and i've got a few of these bundles i'll just go back and see what sellers are doing so for example for the mock up i can see that um sellers for this one for this particular one i can see that sellers have a few different ones they might have black t-shirt looks like white t-shirts actually white t-shirts are better because they're more popular so i'll make sure i change the prompt to instead of black to white t-shirt so let's say i go back i might change this to white t-shirt and then i'll get the image and put it there because i know that's probably more popular so you need to make sure that you get the right ones then also i might have a look at these and you can see there's different ethnicities and there's different kind of backgrounds i might add that in the prompt and then just get a whole different type this one's got 50 i might have 100 i might do to be honest i might say i'll i'll do 100 for the same price so i can stand out when i do my listing okay so that is really pretty much how you'd start building up and then i would just once i got my 100 let's say i'll go to file save as oh sorry export export it as a pdf um and then i'd have my pdf and then what i'll do is um i would just i would just upload it to etsy and that's all i'll do because that's all you need to do it's very simple to upload and then sell it um as a pdf and that is that is literally all you need to do guys that is all you need to do but i would definitely do a few things i would look and see what is actually popular out there go to mid journey i mean for me i've got so many i could actually go now and bundle them up now with whatever i've got you know i've got clip art styles i've got a uh, bookmark styles i've got um everything everything that i've been working on guys or and if not i can actually just create them so i'd actually go back and see what's actually popular what's selling because look you want to see what sells so i would personally go to some good sellers that you can see that are doing pretty well and what is working because look this one looks like it might be working boho wall art print but i'm not i'm going to use science right i'm going to use my seo software which is this one which is um everbe check out the links in my description for everything that i use And I'm actually in this case because they're all pretty newish. Look at these listing; they're all quite new. But I want to look and see what is actually making good money. So I can see that this all-in-one is a good idea. So that's selling, and I think that that might might be the same seller. If it is, that's great because um, you know you can see that it works. So people do like mega bundles, right? This is basically a mega bundle with all the smaller bundles, which is amazing. So. Once you've got your prompts done and you've got your different ones like t-shirt mock up, you've got your sticker mock up. Actually all it is is a case of just putting all those PDFs in one and selling it in one thing. So actually there's no more work to do for this actual listing and yet you're making more money. I think this is an amazing 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 thing to try and get into, especially if you're using Midjourney guys. So I highly recommend to try and get into this. is definitely not saturated it's an is there's so much room to get into it i think the way you will distinguish yourself from the other sellers is to just make sure that you're doing things that prompts that people want that's the first thing make sure that you're getting your selling prompts that people want so t-shirt designs they sell mock up sell but do your research watercolor things sell and then once you do it bundle them all up guys put fantastic images on your listing like these ones are really good showing people what they would look like showing them what the actual prompts produce 
Remember, when they do their prompts, they put them in. It's not going to be exactly the same. So make sure that you say that. It's just say that this is a representation of the prompts that would be produced. Okay, be very clear. Answer all the FAQs like this person's done, which is a really cool answering all the questions using the listing images, which I think is fantastic. And at the same time, they're showing what you'd get as well. I really like the style of this, what this person is doing. So don't go and reinvent the wheel. Just try and improve the wheel. Try and look at ways that you could make yours even better. Make it sure that you can stand out from the crowd. And guys, I think this is an amazing one to do. And like I said, I'm just sharing the ideas that I like to do for myself. So I hope you guys are like that, like this video. And even if you want to start small, like some of these are starting with a hundred prompts for something specific like nursery images, watercolor, or Halloween clip arts. These are really cool as well. Look at these ones. These are Halloween clip art prompts, which are really nice. And you know, just choose something that you can start by doing. Or maybe something that you've already done prompts for. And literally all you need to do is show what the images look like, like these guys have done, and then put the prints on a PDF. It's as simple as that. Guys, if you do want any more videos on kind of this kind of selling mid-journey prompts, just say yes in the comments below. If you did like the video, I would appreciate it if you could put hit a like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell, guys. And remember, don't forget to share. Do check out my other videos at the top. Check out all the links in my description also. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.